Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is cellist Wendy Law and today we have for you Watch Me Practice Bach 6 Prelude. Now this is uh, a piece I haven't played for a while so you're literally basically watching me practice live. It's rusty, it's probably out of tune and it's not good. But what I will do that might be helpful for you guys is that I will speak out some of my thoughts on what I'm working on and why I'm doing certain things so that that might be helpful to some of you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with Box Sweet Prelude, which is really my favorite. It's, a, it's really one of those grand pieces. So with this piece, I'm gonna be tuning a lot because it's a big old D major scale. It's just letting you know, Bach is letting you know, this is in D major. <laughs> at the same time. Last thing you need is for your bills to be moving too much. They should be pretty close to each other. So I'm going to practice intonation and playing them together for those reasons. position is a little bit of a jump so I gotta get used to that and know how much distance and that is accurate. <laughs> of it. I'm not even dealing with the music. I'm thinking about it. Thinking about what I would do after I get everything in tune and I'm getting used to all the positions and where everything goes. Then I'll start more seriously thinking about music. Just FYI. <laughs> and it's not so good right now. This is where it, it's hard for me to go to the thumb position. I'm probably going to play through this a few more times to get used to it. basically always repeat the phrase the second time. You know, usually people do da 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 forte and then piano da 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 So what do 
I need to hear uh, as a listener, right? So this is Bach announcing D major. One more time for you, D major, but soft. changes and pattern changes so that you can really hear it so not every note has the same importance you kind of have to delineate certain notes so that you know that harmony is changing or the pattern is changing so if you look at the score and I'm looking at the Baron Ryder score you can really see these patterns you can like physically and visually see how the pattern changes really look for those patterns and how you can really go with that pattern. So let's hear it. Again, bring out that difference. So it sounds like this. Uh. Notice how I emphasize different parts. That's just me. Like, 
I just wanted to do that. So now it comes to the big A major. <laughs> people do and for me I just think it sounds better and if you can still make it sound like as if you're crossing strings I think that's fine and delineating the, the harmonies I think is fine um, but that's just my choice I'm not saying that's the right choice but that's my personal choice <laughs> a little bit of that. That's what you you want here. sounds kind of like not great right now but I wanted to show you kind of my thinking process as I'm practicing and making sense of the music mm -hmm. 
harmonic. This whole section is just wandering harmonically to go back to G. pieces of music that I still have to hard score. I normally use everything on the iPad now. Same deal. Oh no, this is different now. Pattern changed, right? Before it was like this, right? But this is a little bit different. So take note of the difference while you play. So a lot of times, you know, basically what Bach is doing is just noodling around one chord. So you have a lot of freedom, I think, in terms of um, timing-wise within the bar so that you can it can sound really free and almost cadenza-like. For, for, for example, here you can... Freedom within the bar, though. and the patterns and the levels and how do you treat that so that's one one pattern and now the next one repeats that's the beginning of a hint of all the crazy blah, blah, blah. make sure it's even and the harmonic rhythm changes there is every two beats now. do the job.
this is next important. So that F natural is important because that indicates a chord change, right? So. between the two strings. I think it's like one of the most glorious cello pieces in this world. I really think it, it's it's such a strong piece. It's such a, it's just it's just amazing. It's really just amazing piece of music. Let me know what other pieces you would like me to practice here live for you and thank you so much for your support if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out with the algorithm so that more people would be able to see these videos and if you want to support me i'm on patreon just go to patreon.com you can become my patron you can support me with as much as one dollar two dollars three dollars all the way to a hundred dollars whatever you like and there are different perks so you can go on there and take a look and of course you can support me by watching my other videos which i'll link right here and down below and my visual album passion and you can purchase the album on wendylaw.com thank you thank you so much i appreciate you all and i'll see you next time Mwah. bye